I suppose. Had a file going to test, but the recording corrupted at 15 minutes. So, we're starting over again. Welcome to a random Let's Play of Dark Souls. I know there's a ton of them out there, but I'm bored out of my mind, so... crossbow run, starting as a sorcerer, so I have the worst melee weapon possible out of the starters. And as for most runs, I am taking the master key. Just gonna go through the basic character creation. I'm not gonna spend a ton of time in it. Afterburner corrupts the video. <laughs> I really hope it doesn't. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. I do apologize for the volume of this. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then, from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The Witch of Isolith and her Daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his Faithful Knights. And the furtive Pygmy, so easily forgotten. Yeah, 
Uh, sorry, I literally have no idea why the cutscene is so damn loud. I tried turning down music volume to match everything else, and it didn't seem to affect it. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land... The undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. Quite rusty at Dark Souls, I hadn't played in months. So, I'm honestly not that good at it anymore, so this particular run's probably gonna get me killed a lot. Premise behind it, I have yet to find a crossbow only run anywhere. It might just be because they are genuinely terrible, which I honestly agree on. Use I've ever found for the crossbows is picking off the toxic dark guys in Blight Town while being able to pull up a shield real quick. And that was just with a upgraded light crossbow. Now I'm using MSI Afterburner to record this because with other free programs, the video tends to corrupt a lot. And hopefully this can do more than 15 minute chunks. It's locked. Um yeah. I won't be limiting my armor, except for keeping my role at least medium, generally. Weapons, or spells, I won't use any offensive magic, hopefully. Uh, defensive magic, such as heal, regeneration, I'm not sure yet. I haven't honestly decided all the limitations, stuff like that. Except for the fact that I'm only going to allow myself to use really, really weak melee weapons. For example, the dagger or, say, a short sword, stuff like that. Things that generally don't do much damage, are really unreliable, for really doing anything, etc. And mainly we'll use either a bow or a crossbow, generally a crossbow. Just to try and at least prove to myself that they can be useful. Commentary on this, it's just the tutorial. I was half tempted to just cut it out, but yeah. If you're looking for lore and stuff like that, don't expect a ton from me because I don't know everything very well. For that, I recommend Epic Name Bro. He has a relatively good video on that. Oh, you. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I are both undead. Hear me out, will you? Not quite sure why he thinks I'm not a hollow. I mean, shit. Look at my character. Regretting Bacon face and everything. I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I 
can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Oh, and this. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now. And thank you. Go ahead and give me your shield. Nope. That'd be a freaking key. Instead, later I'm gonna come back and cry that out of your undead hands. <laughs> shield which is relatively good against magic if you in dire straits I usually pick it up for the moonlight butterfly fight and if I uh, do it late in the run if I do it early in the run I'll just use whatever along with a dagger, but that would break the rules. <laughs> oh. God, I've gotten terrible at this game. for this fight, just do not get hit. Dodge all of his attacks as best you can. Etc. Not like that, obviously. He's not really that big of a threat. He, if memory serves, he used to be harder. And that's the only attack you really do not want to be caught by, because it actually does quite a bit of damage. But, it's really to no avoid, so... I've done fighting him for a long time. That one didn't actually hit me. As you can see, the dagger is just some complete garbage in terms of damage output, and that's why I might allow myself to use it. Short sword if it just can get me to and from the merchant. One of our bullets. That type deal. Yeah, the ammo. Melee weapon is only for when I run out of ammo. <laughs> Anyways, I'll stop after I get to Firelink Shrine, see how the video turned out, things like that. Be doing any real 
little speed running crap, unless I just get frustrated with a section and want to get through it. Let's see. And I'm not sure if I'm going to record farming and such. I'll probably skip out on it because it's honestly kind of boring. And yeah, meet the crow. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. Leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Lordran. I suppose. Hopefully the quality doesn't turn out too bad, etc. 